Okay, here's what I want to put on your plate today. Uh, we need to get um, proxy working with NGNIX to Apache, and that involves the um, installation of PHP FPM along with a few other things. So I've documented the procedure very carefully in the past. I've adjusted that for use with Ansible to give you an idea of what, what we should be doing here. On the left hand side is my documentation, on the right hand side is the control server. First thing that needs to happen is we need to sudo apt install php fpm. We then sudo apt install apache, oh no we don't need apache tool, let me get that out of there. We've already covered apache elsewhere, we just need to get uh, this library right here installed. Um, then we need to get we need to get the remote servers PHP version, but only one decimal uh, deep. So let me give you an idea of what I'm talking about here. If I type in this on my control server, you'll notice right here it says 8.012. Uh, if I do it on the remote server. it says 7.4.3. We don't want the last decimal. We only want the directory right here, the, the directory decimal. And the way we'll get that is by putting a substring in there. So this PHP command, if we type that out, it gives us only the 7.4. Now, if you can extract it from the directory path, that's okay too. I don't care how you get it. We just need to get the 7 or the 8 and the first decimal point after that. But we have to have those two, and uh, I'll show you why as we move down. Okay, we've got to begin this process. One, we're going to capture that in a variable, okay? And we're going to call that variable, in this case, you can call it anything you want. I'm calling it remote PHP version, okay? That's the variable name I'm giving it. Uh, and then the next command we need to type is sudo a2 dismod, which disables modules, php 7 point whatever. So we've got to disable php uh, in order to enable the, uh, the php fpm that we're going to be using. So you carry that out uh, using php remote p. So it's going to look like this, php 7 point whatever it is. That's what you're going to put after the sudo a2 dismod. It's then going to be PHP and whatever the version is attached, concatenated, just like you see it here. Okay. The next thing we're going to do is enable actions. So uh, this is all on the remote server. We're going to type in sudo a2 and mod actions. That'll enable um, actions on the remote server and then we're going to um, move which will effectively rename the fast CGI uh, CONF file by moving it from here to here basically we're appending the word default to it this again is all on the remote server now we're going to copy a file from the control server to the remote server and it's sm fastcgi.cnof and it is found you're going to find this in this location home ansible globals etc and so on you'll see that uh, if i go to that directory on here we are we're already here i think yeah on the um control server we're already right there if i just do an ls you'll see that file is already there Okay. Now, after we get it to the remote server or on the way, however that works, we need to replace PHP version in that file with the version that you've got in the variable above. So, if I go to, if I edit this, you'll notice right here, I have the word version plugged in. So, you're going to have to replace that version with this two this right here whatever that two 
character uh, version is on the remote server. That'll have to be in there or everything will fail. Okay, the next thing we're going to do is create a sim link on the remote server. So we're going, you can just run this line and that will simply make what is in mods available uh, uh, usable in mods enabled. So just run that line, it'll create the sim link. Okay, the next thing we have to do is edit this file. And again, we're using that two character um, PHP version uh, and then followed by the FPM pool there's a slash in there that whole path you're going to edit that file and we have to uncomment this right here so let me give you uh, an example of that 7.2 in that case Ooh. all right now if I search for host name find it right here. I just want to show you that so you can see what we're looking for. We basically want it to be just like that. We want to uncomment that block. That way those environment variables will be available to us elsewhere. Now the last thing that we need to do is reload Apache on the remote server. And once you do that, all of that will be available to us. Now I don't really know of a command line way to test all of this is working properly. Uh, so we're just going to have to rely upon the feedback that Ansible gives us. Um, in the end, I have to create a website uh, on that remote server and then test to see if PHP info information is being displayed properly. Because once I know it's, it's accurate, then we'll see this server API FPM slash fast CGI uh, instead of whatever the default PHP info would show. And um, but I'll take care of that. I just I need you for uh, for all this other stuff. So thanks for watching and uh, let me know your thoughts.